Today I'm going to show you how to data log boost using HP tuners. It's a pretty easy process. It's not that complicated and it's definitely something that's going to help you out in the tuning process as you continue to work on your car or truck. So let's get to it. Okay, so HP Tuners allows you to customize the display to show some calculations on how to get to boost. So, but there's a couple of things you need to understand first. Make sure that you're recording MAP, the KPA reading in HP Tuners. If you're not reading that, everything else really doesn't matter. So whether it's a data log you've already done or you're getting ready to do one, make sure you are recording KPA in, in MAP. It's very, very important. Now, if you have a barometric sensor, great, then go ahead and use that as well and record that data in there as well. If you don't, it's not that big of a deal. I'm going to show you a way around it, but I'm going to show you both ways here on how to do that, how to record uh, with a barometric pressure sensor and without, because quite honestly, it's fairly easy. And, you know, the, the variance is a little bit different, but we'll figure it out. It's not that, not that complicated. Now let's first take a look at this data log on a car that we've monitored the barometric pressure in. And if we look down here, barometric pressure. So what we need to do to get this is very, very simple because HP Tuners already has it in there. Go to charts layout. And we're going to put this down here in group six. We're going to add a new series. And then we're going to click on the parameter. Now, if you scroll down to airflow, boost is already in there as a defined field. This is by HP tuners. It is already in there. All you got to do is double click on it and we'll populate it. Now, it's got some funky things here. First thing we need to do is we need to change this to PSI. PSI will get us the pounds of boost that we're looking for. Easier to read. Now, this car didn't make any more than 15. We're going to go down to zero, and then we're good. We can X that out, and we're done. And if you follow along here and watch down here, the boost number before the pull, and then during the pull, it tells us exactly what the boost was in PSI based on the manifold absolute pressure and that barometric pressure that we're monitoring. And you can follow the boost through it. Makes it very, very simple. But again, you have to monitor or you have to record the barometric pressure along with MAP sensor. Now, this Corvette obviously has a barometric pressure sensor in it as well as a MAP sensor, two separate sens sensors, and it's easy to add this field in here. Okay, so now let's look at the alternative to that. If your vehicle does not have a barometric pressure, pressure sensor, no big deal. We can do this with a simple formula. So here's the process. First thing you need to do is you need to find on a weather map or a weather app your barometric pressure. And we will call it Barro because that's the way it's defined uh, in the user-defined field in HP Tuners. Barrow, we need that. So whatever that is in your area, get it off a website, app, whatever. Now, just a quick side note on barometric pressure on why that's so important. Have you ever been to a race and you see uh, race teams out there using a, a weather station? Well, the big thing that they are referencing is barometric pressure because they need to know what the how much atmosphere is in the air. And if there's less or more, it allows them to determine how much fuel they need to add to the race car to make it run a little bit better. So it's a hugely important piece. And that's why you see race teams invest so much money on those weather stations, because it's a very, very critical piece to what they're doing. So let's take a look at where, where, I, where I'm at here right now. Here in, in Memphis, where I live, right now, I think the barometric pressure was 30 point 30.24. Now that's in inches. And so we're going to need to convert that in, in just a quick second. So if you convert that over, it's going to be 102.4 KPA, or what we really need to know is 14.85. Now that number should look fairly familiar to you. If you're familiar with uh, the video that we did on what uh, AFR is, um, that 14.7 is stoic. Okay, so very, very important. So we know that we are going to be a little bit above that stoichiometric number of 14.7. No big deal. We're going to show you how to put all this calculation into HP tuners here in just a second. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take manifold absolute pressure map, okay, and minus it times that barometric pressure, okay, minus the atmosphere, and that will equal boost. Now that number is a, you know, the, the gauge reading. Um, it's not, 
it's going to be off just a little bit because Barrow is going to go up or it's going to go down. And, you know, you're always going to have to compete with that number of what's going on actually in the world. But without a barometric pressure sensor, if you can get this close to where it's at, then you can adjust, you know, fueling and all those things. And typically on a EFI car, it's going to adjust on its own anyway. So you're not going to have to worry about that too much. So let's take the example here in in the HP tuners. Our max KPA for MAP was 180, okay? Now when we subtract that, minus the barometric pressure, KPA number here, 102.4, that equals 77.6. Now that's still in KPA, but when you convert that KPA over to pressure, it gives you 11.2549 boost. Now that 11 PSI of boost is what we're normally used to seeing, and that's the number, PSI boost. So anyway, I'm gonna show you how to do that in HP tuners to do it automatically, but I wanted to explain the math to you on the back, uh, front side of it. Uh, before we get to there, so you kind of knew where all was going to go. So hopefully the chicken scratch uh, <laughs> is uh, is easy enough to read. And uh, again, I'm going to leave the links down below of some good places to find barometric pressure and then how to do the conversion from the barometric pressure over to KPA and then over to uh, PSI. So let's pop into HP tuners and take a look at it. All right, so let's take a look at this now in HP tuners. Now, this was a Z06 Corvette, so a factory supercharged car. I think it had headers on it, uh, definitely had a cam change in it, and I think, if I remember right, uh, it had a different size pulley on it. Uh, it's been a while. So anyway, so what we need to do here is if we want to add the boost as a uh, something down here in the, the, the chart, to take a look at it graphically, uh, we need to add in some functions here. So the first thing we need to do is we need to set up a user defined field so we can actually reference it here in just a moment for the boost side. So we're gonna go to math parameters and then we'll go to user math here. And this is where we're going to decide what, what we need to add in here. Now we're gonna add a new variable in it. And in this case, we're going to use the manifold absolute pressure sensor We'll click on this and it'll give us the generic listing here and that's the one we're gonna use. So we'll double click on it. Now, we need to change this from the KPA over to PSI because that's where we're gonna read boost in is in, in PSI. So we'll hit okay. Now in this case, uh, when we go back to looking at what our uh, bar barometric pressure here is, uh, where I'm at currently in Memphis, that's where we're going to subtract from that to get the boost pressure. So we're gonna minus, and it was 14.85 was the PSI where we're at here. And once you're done with that, it's over with. You can X this out and it'll save it. So now let's go back down here to the chart and we'll right click on it, go charts layout, and we're gonna add it down in here to group six. So we're gonna add a new series. So let's add this in here. Now you can scroll all the way down or you can search for it. Uh, we're going into the user defined field and it was this uh, one we didn't label. Uh, now we need to uh, change it so it reads the limits of the min max. So I think this uh, car made less than 15 uh, pounds of boost and I wanna measure it all the way down to zero. Once you're done with that, you can X that out. Now, if you look down here on the on the line, it will start to give us that that reading, and boost will read here in this under this new series tab. And if you see at the start of that pull, it starts to increase five, six, seven, eight, and it looks like we max out at eleven pounds of boost, and then we start to taper off rather quickly when it. Go. So that's how you can do. Now you can change the uh, the names of these. Go back here. We'll call this boost. That way you'll know what it is. You can X that out and now it maintains that uh, uh, def definition of what it is. So now you can go back and read this data log and take a look at 
you know, the engine RPM you were operating at, what the map was in the KPA. You can take a look at all these little definitions as far as, you know, uh, what you're monitoring over here. But again, if you're not monitoring that barometric pressure, it doesn't matter as long as you know what it was at the time that you did this, no problem at all. So anyway, that'll give you a good way to throw boost in there. Uh, it's a good reference of what's going on. And sometimes it makes it a little bit easier to, you know, use a definition that we're all used to seeing when it comes to measuring boost. And that's the PSI of it. So anyway, I hope that gave you a, a good understanding of what's going on here and how you can add that function to the chart here in, in uh, HP tuners and give you a good way to, to reference it. Again, it, it all depends on what's happening over here in the channel. If you're not monitoring it, you're not recording it, you're not going to be able to manipulate it over here. You have to be able to record it. And in this case, like I said, we didn't uh, measure barometric pressure, but we certainly took the uh, the map reading and that's what the baseline of it is. And then after that, we just figured it out with some uh, simple math. So anyway, I hope that helps you out. If you got any questions, don't hesitate. Please leave them down below and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. See ya.